The Doctrinal Mastery app has been updated with all the new references for 2023, so let's get to know it a little better and learn how it can be a great resource for individuals and classrooms. You can find the Doctrinal Mastery app in the App Store. The icon looks like this. Once you've downloaded the program, open it up and let's take a look inside. Right away, you'll see a gear icon at the top, and if you tap that, you'll find any settings and information about the app. Tap Done in the upper right-hand corner to go back to the home page. Notice that by default, the app is set to the Old Testament. This symbol here allows you to choose the scripture content you want. You can choose from any of the four curriculum years, or the Articles of Faith, or you can use your own favorite scripture references for the memory, flashcards, and quiz games. Tap the button, and here you can select any of the content. Tap on the pencil icon by My Content, and it will let you know exactly what you need to do to use that option. To go back, tap the back arrow. For our purposes today, let's just select the New Testament. Tap Done in the upper right-hand corner. Now you can see that all the activities will be set to the references for the New Testament. Let's get started with our first game, Memorize. Here you can see all 24 Doctrinal Mastery Scriptures. Let's choose the first one. Included is the full verse content, but if you use this slider down below, it will systematically eliminate certain portions of the reference so you can practice. The more you slide, the more it reduces until it only shows the first letters of most of the words. Give it a try. It can be a fun way to memorize on your own. Tap here to go back to the other references or done in the upper right hand corner to return to the home page. Let's take a look at the flashcards game. Here you can choose whichever references you want to practice. For now, I will choose the first six. Up here, you will see a new symbol. It allows you to choose or filter flashcard options. You can select what you want on the front or on the back of the card. You can select multiple options, including a case study that can help you apply a scripture in daily life. Let's switch to the back. Here we can see the same selection. Those options that are grayed out are already selected on the other side of the card. Returning to the front, let's choose the key scripture phrase. And on the back, the scripture reference. Tap Save in the upper right-hand corner, and we'll be ready to begin the activity. Click the Start button, and the game will give you the clue that you selected. Tap the screen when you're ready, and you'll see the answer. Select Check if you got it right, and an X if you got it wrong. I'll go through the rest of these rather quickly. You can see that I only got four out of six. But now I have the option to retry all the flashcards or just retry the flashcards that I missed. Tap here to go back to the flashcard menu. Let's change some of the options. Tap the filter icon. Let's take a look at the case studies. This could help you not just master the content of the scriptures, but apply them as well. When you're ready, tap Save. Again, tap Start. Considering all of God's commandments, which are the most important and why? Good question. Or how about, sometimes life just feels too heavy. How can I find relief from life's burdens? Or, what can I do to have a better experience while I'm partaking of the sacrament? What a great resource to help us get more out of our doctrinal mastery. Select Done in the upper right-hand corner to return to the home page. Next, let's take a look at the quiz. Again, you can select which scriptures you want to be quizzed on, and if you tap the filter, you can choose the options for the types of questions you want for the quiz. The answers will always be scripture references. 
scriptures, key scripture phrases, doctrine or principle, alternate clue. Let's choose case study again. Tap save in the upper right hand corner and then start when you're ready for the quiz. Sometimes life just feels too heavy. How can I find relief from life's burdens? Select one of the four answers and it will immediately let you know if you've got it correct. Tap arrow at the bottom to move on or tap quiz in the upper left to return to the menu. From here, tap done in the upper right to return to the home menu. And at last, we have the study materials. Selecting that will take you to the Gospel Library and the Doctrinal Mastery Core Document, the newest 2023 version. And there you have it. But remember that this is not only a great tool to use on your own, it's also a lot of fun to use with others. A friend can help you with memorization, and flashcards are always more fun with two. Hey, you got it! Oh yeah, I'm awesome, I'm awesome, who's awesome? I'm awesome! <laughs> That's nice. Please don't do that again. Hey, I make no promises. As useful as the Doctrinal Mastery app is, sometimes it may not be an option. So I've developed some printable Doctrinal Mastery cards. These files are set up to print on the Avery Clean Edge business card sheets. They make wonderful cards and don't leave you with that micro-perforated texture along the edges. They are set up in groups of six, each with a designated color. This is purely for convenience and can be helpful if a teacher wants to work in smaller groups of cards. For example, a teacher might say, class, today we're going to work on just the green cards. The colors also correspond to the Can't Put My Finger On It game board found in my Doctrinal Mastery Games video, which you can find on my channel, or I will put a link in the description below. There is a simple image on the back of each card which is intended to help improve the learning of the references with the topic. You can find the PDF file to download these printable cards in the description below the video. And if you want to get these great little bags, I'll put a link in there for those as well. Now as a bonus, let me offer a fun game perfect for these printable cards. It's called Scripture Fishers. This is a game for small groups of two or three. You can use all the cards or a selection, but mix them up face down in the middle of the players. This is the pond. The cards are the fish. The goal for the students is to catch the fish. Either the teacher or another student gives the clue from their own set of cards, or if you can, use the app. The first fisher to put their hand on the correct fish gets to reel it in. Woohoo! I'm awesome. Got the fishy. You don't have one. Uh, got the fishy? Yes, he is my fishy, and I will name him Fishy. The fisher with the most cards wins. If you have multiple groups playing, you could have a championship round for the winning fishers. Of course, this game is all about catch and release, so mix them up in the pond and try again. Doctrinal mastery is a major priority in seminary. These tools can really help your students engage with their scriptures.